An anti-HIV drug got an important endorsement today. A panel of U.S. federal health advisors is backing Truvada, which is already used in the treatment of HIV. It's also been shown to prevent infection in people who are healthy, but also considered at risk of contracting HIV. CBC medical specialist Dr. Carl Cabasel is with us with more on the story. So I gather this is the news is being treated as quite the milestone. Why, why is it so important? It is because this is an area that has been researched for some time mm -hmm. now. And as you can imagine, when it comes to HIV and the worldwide epidemic, the uh, sort of the holy grail has been to find a vaccine. We haven't done that yet, right. but in the meantime, this is a, an interesting approach to preventing the, uh, the infection. And, and one of the things here uh, that we should note is that because in the U.S. they're seeing 50,000 cases of HIV every year, new cases, uh, and that's been pretty constant for the last 20 years. So mm. despite all of the education and prevention right. and use of condoms and all those things, we're still seeing cases. So the hope is that this is going to help to reduce those numbers. So tell me more about the drug we're talking about, Truvada. How yeah. effective is it? Well, it's been shown, it, we know that it's effective in terms of treating people who are already infected with HIV mm -hmm. as part of a broader strategy of, you know, cocktail medications. But in, in research, it's been found that people who take uh, Truvada on a regular basis every day as directed, can actually reduce their risk of infection by 90%, about 90%, and that's uh, people who are generally at risk, and mm. that's the sort of the study populations that have been looked at. So you take it every day. Are there yeah. any side effects known? Oh, absolutely. There are side effects, everything from gastrointestinal right. uh, discomforts and so on. So any medication you take are going to have side effects. And that's why I guess part of the approach here is to weigh up the side effects versus the potential benefits. And that's actually why the uh, one of the reasons why it's recommended only for those people at higher risk. So we're not talking about the broad population taking this. Are there other concerns as well, aside from any of the side effects that are known? Well, sure. So there are um, a number of, of uh, concerns that have been raised during mm -hmm. the hearings around this, this issue. Uh, number one, we don't want people who might be on Truvada to prevent HIV to get a false sense of security. So it, it shouldn't replace all of the other measures like using condoms, like um, choosing partners carefully or considering monogamy, that, that type of thing. Um, number two is compliance. So the only way that this is going to work as effectively as a 90% reduction rate mm -hmm. in infection is by taking it every day without fail. We also, of course, worry about resistance. So one of the key pieces here is that people who are going to be taking Truvada as a, a, a preventive measure need to be tested for HIV first, because if they take Truvada and they have HIV, the risk is that they may develop a resistant strain, because mm. Truvada by itself uh, may not be sufficient. And then, of course, cost is always an issue because it can be, you know, tens of thousands of dollars per year. I think it's about 14000 a year right. to uh, take uh, Truvada every day. So that may not be a affordable for a lot of people. All of that notwithstanding, mm. given that this panel is endorsing this to be used as a preventive measure, yeah. what's the likelihood that the FDA will give it its uh, seal of approval as well? Well, the vote went 19-4-3 uh, against, right. so it's a, a pretty strong recommendation. And in the past, when such recommendations came forward to the FDA, the FDA usually takes the advice. This is obviously a, a hot-button issue and controversial, so we can't know for sure until they deliberate and make the decision. And typically, if the FDA gives it the nod, does Canada take its cue from any of those decisions that are made in the U.S.? Well, of course, Health Canada makes its decisions independently, mm -hmm. but we certainly do look to the South. We look to the FDA because the evidence is often very high quality. So I think uh, we know that here in Canada already there is research into the use of Truvada for prevention, as there is around the world. So, you know, if this does turn out to be something uh, that goes through, right. I think Canada will consider it. Okay, we'll watch closely. Very interesting. Thanks, Dr. Carl. Thank you.